Hi Virgo, welcome to your spirit guide messages for October. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Um, this is a new series for the channel. It's uh, messages from your spirit guides, what spirit wants you to know, spirit guide messages. So I hope you like this. If you do, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff and let me know how you like it. I also have another new series I've added to the channel. It's for singles in love new love who's coming towards me and it looks into who when where how what kind of connection it will be there's advice clarified with tarot it's sort of, sort of like a fun reading for singles who's wondering you know who's coming toward me so uh, look out for that and um please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me tons of stuff there so please do go check that out and thank you for all your support it really does mean a lot to me and uh, supporting the channel, whether it's through tips, donations, uh, personal readings, subscribing. Thank you to all the new subscribers. So thank you, thank you for supporting the channel and being a part of its growth, um, getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, for Virgo, hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall, happy Halloween. So what we'll do here uh, is we'll get about three oracles apiece from each deck. And then we'll clarify where needed with tarot, and we'll see what your messages are. What does spirit want you to know, Virgo? What does spirit want you to know for October? What are your spirit guide messages? What do we have for Virgo, please, spirit? Thank you so much. What do you want to tell Virgo? What does Virgo need to know for October? What are the messages for Virgo, all the decks are listed below if you are interested in that. One more for Virgo. Nope. One more for Virgo. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to pull three from each and then I'll uh, show you what they are. All right. Get three from this deck. For Virgo, what are the spirit messages for Virgo? Spirit, please, for October. What do you want to tell Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? For October, what are the spirit messages for Virgo? Spirit guide messages. Three for Virgo, please. Thank you so much. One. Two more. Two more for Virgo. That's way too many. One more for Virgo. One more for Virgo, please. Okay. And we'll get three from this deck. All the decks have been pre-shuffled, meditated on off camera and, and cut and all that good stuff. So there's just a little bit more to kind of get the energy going a little bit, a little more shuffling. So, all right. Three from this deck for Virgo. What do we have for Virgo for October, please, Spirit? What does Virgo need to know? I'm feeling those two. All right, let's see what we have here, Virgo. We have Red Kangaroo Responsibility. So, and that's number 39, which is 12, which is about three, which is working together, teamwork, collaboration, compromise, people coming together, working together. So, Maybe you need to divvy up responsibility also between uh, other people. Um, and then we have daydreaming here, 21, which is three again. So three is a big number here. So um, that may be significant to some people. If you feel three is your number, it's coming up twice here so far. Two and one is three. And daydreaming. So I'll read a little bit from the book just to um, see what the book has to say. Then we have 35 here, ta Tasmanian Devil purification which is 35 which is eight and eight is about taking action uh movement travel communication so there's something here that may need purification in your life it's almost like detoxification it can be people places things uh addictions bad habits and that sort of um thing maybe some people need to detoxify their body um just purify themselves all right, so let's see what we have here. We have volunteer. 
so some people may need to volunteer the case coming right under responsibility some people may you know volunteer can be anything it can be uh, volunteering your time or maybe you need to ask people to help volunteer their time to help you divvy up responsibility if it's with family or something like that now we have sentimental feelings here so you may be feeling sentimental about something in the month of October and you could be daydreaming about it looking back on old memories um, over a certain somebody uh, maybe somebody that you've lost or somebody you haven't seen heard from in a very long time you may be kind of like reminiscing and thinking back on old like childhood memories um, and things like that and like just like daydreaming about the good times and feeling kind of sentimental and then we have windfall so there may be some sort of can be anything here it could be a windfall of emotions can be a windfall of abundance um, can be like a windfall of good luck um, could be anything here all right so let's see let's see what we have from this deck we have align your life what is not aligned or needs to change wow exactly and that's coming right under here responsibility volunteer and align your life so I feel like some of you may have over may have overloaded of responsibility with friends uh, family maybe close friends that are like family that maybe you know need help maybe just like your immediate family your extended family and maybe you would just have too much responsibility you need to ask others to help because something needs to change here in your life. I feel like this woman, you see her face is all like out of sorts. I feel like some of you may be feeling out of sorts and like just very uh, discombobulated. And then we have keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. So, wow. And that's right under sentimental feelings and daydreaming. And, you know, and it doesn't have to be ancient ancestors. And that's so funny that I said maybe passed over loved ones. I mean, this could be passed over loved ones, but they, they're around you. You know, if you feel them around you, then know that that is probably if they're sending you signs, scents, symbols, um, you get a feeling or a touch or something like that. Uh, just know and maybe you feel like sentimental at those times and, you know, maybe in like a daydreamy uh, state that it probably is your passed over loved ones and maybe even ancestors trying to come in, help you, guide you in some sort of way. All right, so now we have Lemuria, creating heaven on earth, it's happening. Wow, and that's right under windfall. So some of you could be coming into some sort of uh, windfall here. I don't know, um, creating heaven on earth, it's happening. So that's like being happy, abundant, having everything you need, um, like happy home and family, you know, having the abundance that you need, not needing, you know, not having to worry about anything. But the purification there, I just want to le uh, read um, a little bit about that. That is 35. So it says, let's see. You are being prompted to purify some aspect of your life. The, the cleansing process personified by the appearance of the Tasmanian devil can be as tender as as tender and healing as you like or equally as gruesome and devastating. It all depends on how it is approached and whether or not it is handled in a sacred manner. To remove all that is stagnant from your life it is to realize the fertility that comes with release, liberation, and freedom. It is to strengthen your foundations and to nourish your desire to expand. So what I'm getting with that is that once you purify yourself of all the things that are no longer serving you, people, places, things, feelings, holding on to things, feelings, grudges, resentment, all that stuff, that negative energy that is no longer, long, no longer serving you, it's like you will get this huge windfall of a resurge of new healing like compassion, love, emotion, being happy once again, 
once you can just like forgive and let go and just cleanse yourself of all that energy it's like a windfall of a whole new happiness and a whole new way of being and it's like a whole new heaven on earth here and it can happen because it says here it is happening you know, daydreaming here can be just about daydreaming about um, something that you want to bring into your life, something you want to manifest, something uh, you want to pursue, go after, and that sort of energy for some of you. Or some of you will be daydreaming and reminiscing about the past, about past over loved ones, uh, childhood, and all that kind of energy. And just know what keepers of the earth here about ancestors stand behind you. I think it's just... Um, can be also your ancestors, but any past or loved ones that you reminisce about and have sentimental feelings for, they are around you, supporting you, if you ever feel them. So we kind of have three uh, separate messages here. So uh, sometimes that happens. We get like all individual messages, and sometimes we get like one big message. So take what resonates, I guess, and what doesn't, then you don't take. So... All right, so let's clarify with the tarot now. Let's see. Let's clarify here. Let's do like this section. So I feel like this is all related about um, asking people to help you um, and some res responsibilities that you're feeling overburdened by. So let's clarify that. So we have the Ace of Cups. Hmm. All right, let's get a few more. We have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, the Five of Wands. And the King of Wands. So, again, you know, King of Wands standing up for yourself, being very fiery about it and passionate about it, and uh, doing what's best for you and not backing down. Five of Wands, you know, is all this conflict, that inner conflict um, that you feel because of all this responsibility that some of you may take on and like nobody's helping you and maybe you don't want to ask because you're afraid it's just going to cause conflict but I think you need to here especially with the um, king of wands they're not afraid of anything they don't back down you know they stand up for what uh, they want and you got the ace of cups here so this is like a brand new beginning but it also can be um the message I'm getting with this is this will free up more time for you. And, and this is like a divinely guided energy. Free up more time for you so you can do the things that you love again. You have more time to spend on you, your family, your wants, your needs, what you need to do for you. Self-love here. That's what I'm getting with that. You have more time to care for yourself. Because maybe you're neglecting yourself. And that's why, you know, with this energy here, you're feeling out of sorts. And something needs to change. If if you're afraid it's going to co cause conflict, just stand up to that and just, you know, you're just going to have to. All right. So let's get a few here for daydreaming, sentimental feelings, and keepers of the earth. All right. Let's see what we have here. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. So... Um, so yeah, you may be even like re receiving messages like in dreams. This is a messenger. Well, this is a movement card. So, you know, it's about offers and things like that, but it can be maybe, you know, you're even ha having actual dreams about your past over loved ones, or maybe people that you don't even know. And you're wondering what, you know, who are these people? Why am I dreaming of these people? And it could be like, very very long time ago like centuries and centuries ago like even mid medieval times because this looks like a very medieval kind of um energy and you don't understand it it's probably your ancestors probably trying to um connect with you and definitely here while you're dreaming because i got the nine of swords of this man and you know sitting up in his bed can't sleep so maybe you I'm not sensing like you're getting nightmares, but maybe you just wake up like, what the heck was that all about? And you're kind of like confused and you don't understand. Like maybe it's like reoccurring dreams. Like maybe you are actually dreaming of like nights and things like that. 
and you're like, oh, what the heck was that? I don't, why, I don't understand. Why, why am I dreaming of this? Um, but then we have the Seven of Pentacles energy. So this could be just you assessing, trying to assess these dreams, like really, really trying to understand them, like, like reevaluating, like every part of the dream, every sequence of the dream, like, you know, what the heck was that? <laughs> like really trying to assess it and evaluate your dreams. And I think it's just your ancestors. Um, or it could even be past lives that you've had. I'm getting like medieval times, uh, Celtic times, um, and that sort of energy. All right, so let's look at purification here, windfall and Lemura. Creating heaven on earth, it's happening. What is all this energy here? So we have the Page of Swords. Okay. Now we have the High Priestess and we have the Eight of Pentacles. So what I'm figuring here, feeling here with the Purification and the Page of Swords, this is communication. This is cutting out things no longer serving you as with Purification, with that sword. See, he's getting ready to swing that sword and cut out the things that are no, no longer serving him, standing up for himself, not taking BS, clear cut, open, honest, communication with that and then we have windfall here with the eight of pentacles so i mean this could even maybe even be getting a raise at work or a promotion or something like that some of you could actually be getting a windfall of money or something like that and now we have uh creating heaven on earth it's happening and we have the high priestess energy so this is like listening to your intuition your higher knowing your gut um, but it's also an energy of not really saying anything. You know, the high priestess is quiet, keeps all the secrets to herself. You know, this is connecting to like spirit, source, divine energy. So I feel like if you get this windfall, um, keep it to yourself. <laughs> Don't like tell everybody because you may get this, may get some toxic energy around you also. Now is what I'm getting with that. And for some of you, it actually may be cleansing and purifying your life it may bring in a whole new windfall of like life for you and putting in that hard work to cleanse your life. And you may not tell anybody what you're doing. I don't know. Uh, but you'll have a much more happier space with uh, creating heaven on earth. Wow, Virgo, a lot of messages here for you. Yeah, and this is your energy at the bottom. Um, this is being in your power. This is being, um, you know, stable and grounded, knowing your value, your worth. So knowing your value in your worth in the month of October and standing up for yourself, giving birth to new things, growth, abundance, love, compassion, truth, honesty, stability, um, and all that energy. Wow. So Virgo, if you do like this, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four different readings a month, so please do not miss out on that. And good luck to you here, and I hope you enjoyed this. These are your messages for October, and I hope to see you next time. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.